The Zongo Development Ministry now operates under the office of the president as a secretariat. The coordinator for the secretariat says strategies it has adopted to develop Zongo communities include education, skills training, entrepreneurship, and business development. Ben Abdalabanda has been given further details. Looking at education, education is broad. So what is it that as a secretariat, in line with the vision of the government, the president, to do in order to scale up the educational ladder in the Zongo communities. One, we look at the sciences. Science is, is of paramount importance. Engineering is of paramount importance. Mathematics is good. I mean, the STEM, that it is, the, is, is one of the priority areas of the government. So that is what the Zongo Development Fund and the Zongo Development Secretariat in line with the vision of the government or the president we intend to do this time around. Mr. Abdallah Banda, upon assumption of office, has been touring Zongo communities across the country to abreast himself with challenges facing inhabitants. During his visit to the Aswansi constituency, one of the largest Zongo communities in Ghana, he presented medical items to the Sheikh Taufik Memorial Clinic and the As Salam Health Center. He also presented teaching and learning materials to the Rashidiya Islamic School at Awabo. The Zongo Ministry has been abolished, but in its place is the Zongo Development Secretariat. And because of the importance that the president attaches to this ministry, then that is why in in, in, in abolishing this, he replaced it with the Zongo Development Secretariat now under his watch or under the office of the president in order to have more sites, more input into the development of uh, the Zongo communities in this country. The beneficiary institutions spoke about how the intervention by the secretariat will enhance their operations. We have enough beds, but sometimes when the, we have some admissions and it's beyond our capacity, we need extra beds. So once these beds are in, I think it will be like a backup. If we have excess, then we use it. And the delivery mat, too, it helps us in conducting delivery during labor. The coordinator for Zongo Development says his office will continue to prioritize education to develop Zongo communities across the country. From Kumasi in the Ashanti region, Hafiz Tijani for City News.